To remove the left and right carriage assemblies, remove the top cover by pulling on the retracting stop at the left end. Remove by pulling cover to left slightly to dislodge tab at the right end. Locate and remove the three bottom screws. Locate and remove the two inside cover screws. Disengage the retracting stop or latch between the right cover and the rear cover. Pull up and ease right cover over on one side. Remove two control panel connections to the main PCB. Remove the right cover. Remove all ink reservoirs by depressing on the valve tabs. Remove the two bottom screws securing the left cover. Disengage the retracting stop or latch between the left cover and the rear cover. Using a flathead screwdriver, insert the screwdriver tip into the four cover tab slots and gently twist screwdriver to release cover from the platen. Pull up and remove the left cover. Raise the ink valve covers to release the cartridge tubing needles. Remove all cartridges from the carriage assembly. Remove six ink delivery system carriage cover securing screws. Three screws are located on each side of the carriage assembly. Lift floating carriage cover and set to one side. Remove the screw securing the ink delivery system chain to left side plate. Remove six screws securing the ink delivery bracket to left side plate. Remove left carriage cover bracket to extreme left end of printer. Lift the carriage cover and move to left side of printer. Lift ink delivery system bracket and simultaneously slide the ink delivery chain out of rear cover. Remove the ink delivery system. Note, ensure ink does not leak from valves. Ensure the ink delivery system carriage cover brackets are clear of the rear cover. Remove the rear cover by lifting up and pulling away from the Y-arm assembly. Disconnect the two carriage electronic covers by pressing in on the inner tabs with a small tool. Disengage the trailing cables from the carriage ZIF connectors. At rear of printer, disengage each strain relief from each carriage assembly using a small flathead screwdriver. Gently pry the securing foot to one side to release the strain relief. Caution! Do not force the strain relief or damage may occur. Obtain the belt spacer tool. Position belt spacer tool in between the frame tensioner and the left side plate. While holding the belt spacer tool, turn the adjustable bolt to provide adequate tension to the back side of the frame tensioner. Remove carriage belt from the servo pulley. Hold the belt spacer tool and turn the adjustable bolt to release tension on the frame tensioner spring. Remove the belt spacer tool. Remove the six screws securing the left side plate. Remove the left ink delivery system carriage cover bracket off the slide shaft. Remove the carriage assembly, belt, frame tensioner, and spring by sliding carriage gently off the left side of the slide shaft. Note, the carriage assemblies are connected together with a T connector which must be properly installed. Ensure the orientation is correct when reinstalling. The right carriage assembly contains the sensor assemblies.